I'm Andrea Curlis, the health and wellness coach from Tiller Hewitt. I know you're probably thinking, uh, what does she have on? Well, I'm going to talk to you about sleep and I'm getting ready to go through my nighttime routine. So that's tip number one to get a great night's sleep is that you need a routine and you need to stick to it. So remember our five pillars of wellness when we have nutrition and exercise. Physical, uh, with well, exercise, which is physical activity. We have stress management, we have disease management, and self care. Well, sleep is so important because when you're looking at nutrition, when we don't get enough sleep, we actually overeat. When we don't get enough sleep, we then tend to actually not exercise because we're too tired or we don't have the time to actually exercise. It's not really great for our blood pressure either. So if I'm managing disease, my blood pressure actually elevates if I'm not getting enough sleep. And then of course, stress management, we're extremely stressed if we don't get enough sleep and we're really crabby usually as well. And then the other one is, it actually falls underneath the category of self-care. I have to take care of myself. So here we go. So before I actually go into the bathroom and start taking off all my beautiful makeup, I'm gonna get my bed ready. So the first thing I use is aromatherapy. And the other part is that I go to bed at the same time, at least I try to within an hour, the same time every night. Now don't freak out that I'm an eight o'clock girl, but I get up really, really early in the morning, so I have to be in bed by eight, and I like to be in bed and sleep. So what I do is I take my lavender spray, which has helps you relax, and I just spray, or I'll saturate a cotton ball and I'll put it inside of my pillowcase. That way I smell it all night long. Sometimes depending on the season and if it's still light or it's too light, I actually put an eye mask on. And depending, you know, if I go to bed first with my husband, he snores, I do even use earplugs. Because here it is, you need it dark, you need it quiet or have white noise going on, and you need to make sure that you can stay asleep. That's why the essential oil is so crucial. The other one is you have to make sure that you're hydrated. Now you don't wanna to be too much water right before you go to bed, but you wanna have water because it's gonna help your skin. It's also gonna help your digestive system and help use those proteins for repair. So a little bit of water before you go to bed, maybe when you're brushing your teeth, as we all know that we should be before you go to bed, would definitely help. I also, during the times of the years when it's really, really dry, for those that don't know, I'm from Tucson, Arizona, I keep even water by my bed. So when I first get up in the morning, that's the first thing that I see, and I go ahead and chug about eight ounces of water, because that's why my body is actually starving, because it has went through the whole night without any water. So again, getting ready to jump in to have my sweet dream. So routine. Make sure you're getting anywhere between eight to nine hours. I know the average American is only getting right now 4.5 hours a night. So we want to stop that. So hop on into bed. Nighty night, guys. And remember, make you matter.